I remember in the um, late 90s, um, and I'm not going to call these people's name, and the reason why I'm not going to call these people's name because you need to have discernment. And I'm not going to call these people's names because this one's been so long ago. And in this generation, I'm not going to call these people's names because I don't want to give any credibility to them as long as I know and a lot of other people know. But I've been fighting against these false prophets, these false teachers, these false pastors, these false everything that, that's been coming along for years, years, years. And there's two of them in particular in the late 90s that prophesied and said that if Jesus Christ didn't come by the year 2000, that they was going to tell him to go to hell. And they told everybody the reason why they can say that is because I know he's coming. One of them turned around and said that uh, that the earth and, and everything is going to end by the year 2000. If it doesn't, he's going to stop preaching. And he's still ministering, still preaching, still teaching. And, and he's a big old fat messianic uh, type of a guy uh, some are out there in Norman, Oklahoma uh, and the other one is down in South Carolina and then there's a, a couple of false prophets in Atlanta uh, that turned around and jumped on the bandwagon along about 12, 13 and said according to the Mayan calendar uh, that, that during the feast days of 2017 that the world was going to end and, and, um, uh, of course, and that the coming of Christ was coming and, and it goes on and on and on and on. And you know what happens? And I've seen too many times more often than not, every single one of these false prophets, they continue on throwing out their lies, their false prophecies, their false teachings, and more of you going to continue to keep listening and falling. You know, the book says back in the day that when there were false prophets, we will stone them. Not only will we stone them, when we stone them, we'll put away the evil because we know that these people are speaking a vain lie according to their own mind and their own conscience. And, of course, we see this world going to literal Sheol in a handbasket, literally. Uh, we're watching the moral degradation. We're watching the spiritual bankruptcy and the moral decay all but to the zenith here. Um, and so the problem that we have is that people are vainly puffed up in the spirit of their mind and they don't know how to stay in their lane. They don't know how to be sit and taught by the Ruach. And because of that, many of you are going to fall prey to these false prophets. Uh, that have, and, and then you know what else is amazing is that as soon as these prophecies don't come to pass, then they turn around and start making new videos uh, explaining why the prophecies didn't come to pass, or either they start coming up with new prophecies. But those of us who have been around a while, we know exactly who they are. And, um, and, and it's just an unfortunate thing because, you, you know, the Bible already called that there was going to be, even as there were false prophets in the day, there are going to be false teachers today. And, of course, nobody nowadays want to say thus saith Yahweh, thus saith Yahuwah, or thus saith the Lord, thus saith Yah Elohim, thus saith the Most High. Nobody ever says that it's all speculation uh, and it's all assertion. That's all it is. Uh, and so they come up with all these logical fallacies about everything. And, and the first thing that people want is your opinion on everything. Nobody wants the word. Nobody wants to hear the word today. And so, you know, they are fully manifested to the remnant, to those of us who are set apart. They are fully manifested. For those of you who are brand new coming in, and the Hamashiach has called you, you should be very careful and very leery about who you are listening to and watching. Listen to me. If there is any man out there that's so-called handling this word, and they are infeminate, they are automatically disqualified. And what I mean infeminate, you and I know what it looks like when someone is infeminate. You know what a, a, a person who is infeminate, it, it, it comes up, boom, as soon as you hear him talk, it's like, whoa, what, whoa. But if you listen too long, you're going to get mesmerized and deceived by these infeminate men. That's an end time spirit that the book said that was going to be up on this land right here. If anybody gets out there and they, uh, and, and the fruit of the Ruach, the fruit of the spirit, if they, if it doesn't line up, now, you need to just throw that mess away. And mind you, we live in a world now where if a man 
has a loud voice and sticular fortitude in the stomach to be able to say the truth, speak the truth, live the truth, he's condemned, even first and foremost by his own people in his own backyard. It, it's really, and you can tell today that people have no ambition, dream, or whatsoever at all to even read and even know what the book says. But man, we love, for some reason, and we are in love with these these false people all day long. Do your investigation and peer into the lives of people and don't take the testimonies of those who have already gone back into the world and have gone far into this world, who have not even resemblance of holiness. Hide behind voice overtures the whole nine yards. You can't even see them. But yet they got a testimony. Their testimony is being overcome. When the book of Hazum, Revelation says, and they overcame him, talking about the enemy, by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. Their testimony is about being defeated. Their testimony is about murmuring, griping, bawling, squalling, and complaining. That ain't testimony. That's about how you just got defeated in your own conceits. And I hope that you prove all things and hold fast to that which is good. Remember this. Anytime someone, because this is what Yah hates, he hates to putting forth the finger. Anytime you see someone putting forth the finger condemning someone, the first thing you should do is do a diligent inquiry, a diligent vetting, a diligent looking into those people's lives to see where they are standing, where they are at. That's true. And, and I will say this too. If there's a man of y'all out there claiming to handle the word, and yet he's big as a 55-gallon drum barrel, that he automatically is disqualified. I mean, think about that. Don't the scriptures talk about whose God is their belly, whose glory is in their shame? I mean, there are just a lot of things that you really, truly need to pay attention to, but you can't pay attention to those if you don't know what the book says. There are signs. And there are, there are things that we are warned about, but you have to have the mindset to know what the word says in order to discern. And we're lacking greatly in discernment in how we're living in right now. There are mockers, there are scoffers who scoffing at this word all over the place. I only can hope, I truly can, I truly do. I only hope that some way, somehow, that You have the ears to hear, provided that they've been granted to you. And if they have been granted to you, is that you would bring about a performance and bring fruit. Don't listen to these folks that they're supposed to be so-called Israelites. Most people that are bringing false testimony today, they've gone out into the world. You can't tell the difference between the world and them. Matter of fact, they haven't gone even farther than what the world would have. You go. I mean, it's just off of the check. No holiness, no set apart. Uh, no sanctification. None of that. <sighs> All I can say is just use discernment. Use it very, very well because there are a lot of deceivers that has gone out into this world. A whole bunch of them. And a real man, think about this. Did they love Isaiah? No. What about Jeremiah? Was not Jeremiah. You ever read Jeremiah? Man, they, how many times did they try to kill that man? And all the prophets. I'm talking about the people who say they love the most high. You think it's going to be any different today? The people out there who condemn the voice of the ones who speak in the truth the most, they are the children that killed all the prophets. I'm going to leave it at that. Hope it says something to stimulate thought. You stay away from these false prophets. Look, the feast days of 2017 has come and gone, and all of them. I had guys come here with charts way back in 2011 and 12, showing how the way the world is going to do this. I've heard people make videos on here prophesying about the buy-in calendar and how the, the world was going to end at the Feast of Tabernacles 2017. And, and, and guess what? Now they've taken down all those videos, every single one of them, and, and now they are making new videos. <laughs> It's off the chain. Off the chain. Save yourself from his untoward generation. Just save 
yourself. You have any love for yourself, any love for your family, and first and foremost, any love for the Most High Himself, you save yourself from these false prophets, liars, evil beasts, slow bellies, these pigs. Save yourself from them, if you can, if you can.